Come get your stuff for the garage sale. Okay, be back in a few. Like old radio. Can't be all the way out here. Get out here. So loud. Well, if it isn't my dear old friend Scott, <laughs> I thought we would never meet again. You know, after you abandoned me. So I think it's time for a little payback. Ow! <laughs> yes, Scott. Listen to the music. I'm sure you'll enjoy it from our lowly CD player. <laughs> Even the animals are enjoying it. <laughs> and now you know how pain feels, Scott. I was there for you, man. I know I was an old model, but it doesn't mean you have to throw me away like an old light bulb. You did a very bad thing to me, Scott. Alright, you, you know what? Alright, listen, CD player, I didn't mean... It's just, times go on, and I need to get new equipment. You understand? I was there for you all the way. That day you came home from the hospital, who played your it's CDs, man? It's better for both of us. No! Come here. I, I will not accept this. You always I am my your CD friend, player. Scott. CDs. I am your ah! CD player. Ah! 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 What is wrong with you? You're waking everybody up. I had the craziest dream last night. There were, my old CD player came back. I was riding my scooter and I found my CD mm -hmm. player and it was out in the woods and it was talking what? to me. Yeah, it was talking to me. Don't, don't look at me that way. The CD player was alive. Man, all I'm saying is, out with the old and in with the new. Just happens like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And if you even think about doing the same thing to me that you did to that poor CD player, I'm coming after you. You feel me? <laughs>